Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, I'm going to discuss a scenario where uh, I'm dealing with one of the issue in a stacked chart report uh, when my series uh, appear zero. So let's say one of the values 100, then uh, zero comes here on top of that, and I don't want that. So let me create a scenario for you. I have this uh, table, and in this table, I have name, then DB skills, and other skills. And I have inserted some record uh, such as Amir. He has all the skills in, in uh, databases uh, and he has no skill uh, in the uh, other skills. Um, and uh, Raza has 80-20%. So Lisa has 50-50 and Robert has 100 and then we have null values. Uh, so if you take a look on this data, you can see different type of skills broken into two parts. Um, so database skills and other skills. Uh, if I show this uh, uh, data on stack chart in SSRS report that this zero appears on top of that and I don't want it because if you have 100% skills in one uh, uh, D, D, let's say D, DB skills uh, that should show only uh, the hundred percent there on the chart uh, in the stack chart uh, SSRS uh, report. Uh. Now let's go back and take a look uh, and see how exactly it is happening. Uh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new report. Uh. Let's add a new report. New report. Okay, we create a new data set source. I'm gonna use the share data source here. Let's click there. Now what we are gonna do, we are gonna add a data set. And here I'm gonna select start from IT skills. Okay, refresh the fields, fields are there. So we have a DB skills, other skills and name columns there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert a chart here. And in the chart we are going to select a stacked column chart. Hit okay. I'm gonna make this one a little large so you guys can see this better. Let's make this one large as well. Right there. Okay. Now what we are gonna do, we are gonna add the data to it. And uh, here, let's select the values. So very first value I want to add uh, DB skills. So this is how the DB skills are going to look like. So this is the color it choose. We can change the color if you want, but I'm going to leave this one to default. Let's add, add another value. So now we will add uh, other skills on top of that. So that's the color it choose for other skills. Now here in the uh, category group, we are going to go ahead and add name. Now that's where our name is going to appear. I'm going to make it bold and uh, little bit bigger so you guys can see that fine now we go ahead and run this report or preview this report and what we see here we don't see any data on top of that one fine but I want to show the uh, data on this chart so I'm gonna right click on this uh, kind of bluish thing here so first of all I want to add that here that show data labels and then I'm gonna click on this uh, black part of the report and here I'm gonna say show data labels because I wanna show the labels for DB skills and other skills. So let's go ahead and preview that. And now you see that uh, this for Amir, it shows 100 and then shows zero on top of that. I mean, once it's 100%, uh, then I don't need to show zero here, okay? Uh, here, remember that for Robert, the data itself uh, in the table was null. So it did not show that, but for Amir, somebody has put zero there. So in your calculation, uh, there would be some time values will be coming as a zero. You might make in the database or query null, or if they're coming zero, then we have to deal with that. So how we will deal with that, uh, we, will, we don't need this zero here because Amir has all uh, DB skills uh, that's 100% so we are gonna go back and then write the expressions so you are gonna click here right here and uh, actually uh, that's other skills right so we are gonna click on other skill and uh, right here so we are gonna uh, right click here series properties and here we will write our expressions so right here and then uh, what we are gonna say we are gonna say I, I if this value is zero then nothing otherwise the value itself so some of that okay so there are multiple ways to write this one but we are what we are doing here we are checking and we are using i i if it means that we are checking this value if this value is zero and it is zero for other skills in our armor's record so if it is zero 
what we want to do we want to say nothing that means null and then uh, if that's not uh, reality then what we are going to do is going to just give us uh, the value itself or whatever it is okay hit okay now we are all good and uh, we are going to preview our report and now we should uh, not see zero here and you can see that we do not see zero for Amir. it's 100 percent uh, as it was for robert so one way to handle that uh, if you uh, can return uh, null values uh, for your uh, uh, columns uh, in um, in uh, maybe in the you are writing query or store procedure or whatever so you return nulls uh, or if it is uh, returning you zero then you have to come back here in the stacked uh, uh, chart uh, and write the expressions uh, where you will say uh, if the value is equal to zero and uh, then uh, change to the uh, you guys have seen that so if it is a zero it's nothing otherwise the value itself so i hope this video will help thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video